Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today about setting a custom white balance on the Canon Vixia HFR800 camcorder. Now there is an automatic white balance function, an AWB function, uh, but you're also able to custom set a white balance. And the cool thing is that it will persist through a uh, reset. In other words, turning off the camcorder. Now reading from the um, official Canon instruction manual for the Vixia HFR800, to set a custom white balance, point the camcorder at a white object so it fills the screen. Touch set white balance. When the adjustment is completed, um, this symbol stops flashing and disappears. The camcorder will retain, this bit's very important, the cam camcorder will retain the custom white balance even if you turn it off. So once you're on that custom white balance, it's kind of dialed in until you set it again or you go back to auto. But even if you go from auto back to custom, you're gonna be using the last custom white balance. So that's really, really important to know. Now you can uh, use a white object. I don't think you have to be discriminatory. Some people will use a piece of paper. Uh, some people will use a napkin, but uh, I picked these things up from the internet. This is AliExpress purchase here. I'm sure it's also available on eBay. It's a three card uh, white balance setting tool. You get yourself a white, you get a gray, and you get a black. I'm not sure exactly what gray and black is for. This is the one I use, the white. These things are really handy. This thing was about $1.78 or $1.50. I bought about five of these and I just keep them in every camera bag so I always have it ready. And it really does make a big difference in terms of getting the color in your footage uh, looking correct. So that's how it's done according to the manual. And uh, let's just take out the Vixia and actually go through the process. Okay, so I've just got my Vixia now up on a uh, tripod of sorts and uh, turn it on, flip out the LCD screen, of course. Then uh, click on the bottom right uh, there, you'll get to the main navigation. And to get to white balance, you need to just zoom, the, uh, scroll down a little bit, and it's there on the bottom right, it's uh, labeled WB for white balance, so click on that. Now the first thing you're gonna get to is going to be, you've got automatic, uh, which is AWB, then you've got a daylight preset, then you've got a tungsten preset, and then this guy is the custom white balance, custom WB. And when you click into custom WB, there's a little button there saying set white balance. What you want to do now is get your uh, white balance card at the ready. And I put it um, in front of the lens so that it occupies a whole frame. I'm just trying not to get my fingers in there. So now I'm looking in the monitor and I can see that the, the frame is filled um, with the white balance card. And now there we go. Now I'm going to do set white balance. And you can see the white balance is adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. And once it stops flicking, it's dialed in. And now if I move the, the, this through the room, it should, be, uh, it should be dialed in pretty much correctly. Doing this on my desk here in front of my screen was kind of a weird place to demonstrate setting a white balance. But I have brought this guy out uh, into the field, into the field in somewhere I'm recording. Uh, it fits in a pocket, take out this, go through the custom white balance. And I actually do that. I'm trying to do that now before every time I'm using this camcorder in a different uh, different lighting condition, whether that's going from inside to outside or outside to inside, uh, especially if you're doing shooting for any period of time in a certain light environment, I really do find that it makes a big positive difference. Hope this video was useful. If you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.